Cinderella boy, tears in his eyes, about to become the Masters champion. Where's that from? Bagger Vance? Uh, you are wrong, movie breath. It is from the number one ranked movie of all time as far as golf is concerned, and that is Caddyshack. Might be the number one ranked movie, but the best golf movie of all time, Tin Cup. Tin Cup. Granted, it's a good movie. It's a movie that I will sit down and watch if it's on, but it doesn't have the remembrance. It doesn't have the, the flair, the comedy, the, uh, the genius of But it is a Caddyshack. pure golf movie. It has the greatest ending of perhaps any sports movie or many you know, sports movies I've ever no, seen. No, don't give the ending away because the movie's 30 years old. <laughs> but go ahead and give me the kind of the summary of it. Well, you know, last hole, Kevin Costner makes a 12. The greatest 12 you'll ever see. Yeah, but again, that's a movie, and it doesn't really count. I'm talking about real life here. I'm talking about a maintenance guy at a, at a golf course uh, trying to uh, work with one of the Hooten pollutant uh, guys from the country club. I'm talking about Chevy Chase, Bill Murray, Ted Knight. It's chemistry. It's a great, and I realize Caddyshack wasn't supposed to be a golf movie when they first, you know, came up with the whole idea, but it turned out to be one of the greatest golf movies of Tin all time. Tin Cup, though, had a great cast, too. They had Rene Russo. Don Johnson was in there. Just a lot of good stuff. And Kevin Costner, who wasn't a golfer at the time, got the swing down, and it really was, uh, to me, really said a lot about golf and the way people felt the game, and I thought they did a great job right, with so that movie. Where does Happy Gilmore fit in your... Well, the best fight sequence in a golf movie with Adam Sandler, Happy Gilmore, Bob Barker. And Bob Barker. <laughs> he takes down Bob Barker. Bob Barker takes him down. All right, but number one, Caddyshack, Tin Cup, Happy Gilmore.